Abby Kleinschmidt enjoys doing the rounds on her farm. For five generations, her family has worked the land here, land that she says could lose value if the planned Keystone XL oil pipeline crosses through it. And with the pipeline being, they say it's sometimes, you know, around 100 degrees, it's a really high pressure, hot pipeline. Um, I can imagine, you know, things not growing there, that it being too warm for the roots. Farmers, environmentalists and representatives of Indian tribes are all concerned about possible oil spills from the pipeline, which will carry crude oil down from Canada to the American Gulf Coast for refining. According to TransCanada, the company behind the project, such worries are misplaced thanks to unprecedented safety measures. Uh, these programs include uh, things like uh, routine aerial surveillance, of the right-of-way every two weeks for Keystone, scheduled inspections and testing of above-ground facilities and, and, and equipment, periodic inline inspections of the pipeline, and frequent testing of the systems that prevent corrosion from occurring. TransCanada also says the pipeline will employ thousands of construction workers, but the promise of temporary jobs isn't enough to change the minds of opponents. Campaigners are now demanding that the Obama administration veto the pipeline. For some protesters, the final insult is that the company that could be given the right to expropriate their land isn't even American, but Canadian. You know, it's bad enough that tar sands is a dirty product, not good for our water in the climate, but it just makes matters so much worse when you have a foreign corporation who's threatening eminent domain on folks. Obama, we don't want no climate drama. <laughs> Abby and her family are keen Democrats, but they fear being let down by President Obama. They want to see more investment in renewable energy rather than oil. Our leaders have done a terrible job in preparing us for the next generation of energy. We, we will get off of oil, and why not sooner rather than later? If Barack Obama does decide to give the pipeline the go-ahead, opponents are unlikely to back down quietly. Some have already promised to chain themselves to the bulldozers that will try to build Keystone XL across their land.